Hey there and welcome to the future of mobile application. Before that, if you guys are new here, join to the Unbox call. Today we are going to see React Native push notification. So, if you guys are know, for the basic thing in React Native, we need to show the push notification at the top of the screen. So today we are going to see how we can do that using React Native push notification. Before that, I uh, just show some demo here. See here, when this is our application, see here, uh, so I just cleared the notification. When Whenever we are doing this click, we are manually triggering a local notification. So this is the one. So when you are pulling down, you can able to see the notification so today we are going to see two things the one is local notification and the second one is remote notification using the firebase so without doing the firebase we can't able to do that so today we are going to see how we can achieve that first of all go to the react native push notification npm we can able to see the lot of downloads here uh, around 35,000 weekly downloads are there and also the size 275 kb so it's a good one so you guys try to install the react native post notification first into the react native project so later we can see the lot of things they have given uh, like the permissions things and then uh, background color and then script all those things so i have created a sample react native project so this is the react native project so we can see from the scratch how we can achieve this first go to the react native firebase just search firebase go to the first link do get started so before that uh, the firebase is the open source platform we can able to connect to our application making this we can able to send the pop-up request so if you are sending a lot of requests we need to do a subscription to get a lot of features for basic thing we are having two things so this is our project So I'm just creating a new project. I'm just entering the project name. So project name should be uh, registered to your dashboard one. So I'm just giving the project name to be notification. It's just checking the project name is available. So secondly, we have to give a continue. See here, uh, it just asking for the file file this thing. Do continue. Third one, you have to in the country. You need to accept the policies. I'm just creating a project. So it's just taking a few seconds to creating a new project. See the firebase is ready. We are just doing the continue. So 
so this is our first firebase application uh, okay so here uh, we need to go with the android one currently i'm just doing the demo for the android so please select this android feature see here we can able to see uh, so this is the best this is the important one we guys need to know uh, now firebase is connecting directly to our project so this is the one android package name so this name the package name is generally the application id your app, app level build and gradle file so just go to here inside android build.gradle so on this one inside app build.gradle so here namespace so this is the one of our project name you guys should select on that awesome project so my android app name test notification so the security key is optional if you guys need to know you guys can able to add the security key so currently i'm just skipping this hmm. the secondly uh we guys should add see here uh, they have given me given google service that json file we guys should download this thing so while clicking this it will download go to your downloads see uh, the file has been downloaded then you guys should add this file inside the src see here inside the android app i'm just having google service json file so i'm just deleting this this is the existing file i'm just adding the new file open with visual studio code so it has opened i'm just adding this think here and just need to edit the name I'm just renaming to google service json see here we can able to get the project id project number storage bucket all those things our project name awesome project so the first level configuration was done secondly do the next so see here it will ask it will allow us to do the setup thing so i will show the demo directly go to the next continue to the console so test notification was added go to the settings see once you have got the settings see here you can able to see the notification id all those things see the class see the cloud messaging api legacy was disabled so before that uh, i just let you know what are all things we need to configure into our application so just go to your application then go to your build.gradle file so this build.gradle file see here i just added this line uh, com google.service.4.0 see this thing we need to add so i I'm, I'm just giving this thing below you can able to easily add this service you guys need to add this line into build and gradle once that is done then you guys should add inside the app src build and gradle we are having right there uh, we need to import another one file uh, which is 
Google Firebase. So this one we need to import com dot Google Firebase dot Firebase bomb. Uh, so this one you guys need to input here also from Google service. So this is the second thing. So once uh, that is done, we guys should add the bombs and requests in Android at manifest dot XML. So in this thing, uh, we should add uh, the permissions. So I'm just giving the permission level here. So, so this is the one. You just copy and replace the same thing uh, to the permission level. Once uh, this permission level is replaced, then we guys should go to the inside SRC. Then response then values here colors.xml so we guys should create a folder colors.xml then just copy paste the second thing so this resource this resource is nothing but it will while giving a, a pop-up notification we can able to control the background color and style so this is the one so the nextly once this all configuration is done okay oh, once this all configuration is done you guys should uh, do delete the node module do gradle clean so just a cd android gradle w clean once uh, that is done then do the npm install the app will run again so after that <coughs> you guys should go to the two things the first thing is local notification so just create a new file uh, near to the app.tss this is our local notification file so in this local notification we have two things uh, the one is create channel and another one is local notification so i'm just mentioning here so this is the one so we just should import a react native push notification so inside push notification we can able to create a channel so without creating a basic channel we can't able to do this uh, initiate the pop-up notification so create channel so channel id should be the unique one so currently i'm just giving the date string as an unique one and channel name and then description the importance importance is nothing but the priority of the message and then vibrate is no like that we are having the n number of keys uh, you guys should know you just uh, scroll down to the npm you can able to get a lot of things right so see here uh, the color priority uh, high like that we guys able to here and give it here so the secondly uh, so while doing this we can able to get uh, this basic uh, uuid uh, so each product we can able to get an unique id so then only we can able to uh, pass that uh, push notification so once uh, this thing is done now so secondly we guys should do the major thing so that is uh, like for whenever we are entering into the application we are just doing the push notification without having an access to the access permission to from the user we can't able to do that so we need to do the permission level request so that one we should do the in npm level so just go to the your uh, node module go to the node module so inside go to the react so inside go to the react native then libraries then permission android then permission under js so here you guys should add post notification then post notification and other post notification under permission under post notification this two line we should add there so once you have added run your application once you are running your application so it will ask for an added permission once if it's us, you guys should do allow. So secondly, uh, we have created a local notification, right? This one we have to import. So just import this directly to 
app.jss see here i just imported this local notification so in this local notification i'm just giving directly to the button whenever i'm just clicking the button this local notification file should trigger <coughs> whenever it's triggering it will create a new local notification so that's the one see here uh, once this all is done whenever i'm just clicking this new local notification will come